Oh wow, this is really not gonna work. Okay. Um, okay, this looks good. How's it going, everybody? My name is Nolan Hughes. Now, if you guys are new to this, you know, channel, um, I make videos about cartoons. I make reactions, reviews, gaming videos, pretty much anything you could dream of. Now, today's video is a little different from those people who are subscribed to me and watch my videos regularly. Thank you. I don't know how to say the word regularly. There you go. I'm a dropout, so that's why. <laughs> so today's video is a little different. Now, I am having a lot of inspiration from people making their coming out story, um, especially Nikki Tutorials. I love her. Thank just, just that made me so emotional, and I am so happy for her. Thank God we have somebody like her in this community. Um, where do I begin? Now, this is my coming out story. Now, I know I've made a couple videos in the past of me oh, saying, oh guys, I'm gay. This video is a little different. This video is a kind of explaining of how I came out. And I never really announced like why I like, you know, the story of how I came out. And it goes way back. Now we're gonna be getting into the middle school years. That was six year, ooh. That was five years ago, maybe four or five. It was m probably five. Um, five years ago, um, actually six, six years ago, I met this person. I am not gonna say his name for his privacy you know, reasons, um, but me and him were really, really angry at each other. We were really hateful towards one another. Um, and I would always call him faggot. And the only reason why I would do that is because I would always put my I would always put my issues on the other people when I was in middle school. This was in sixth grade, and I was always calling him a faggot. You know, all these really gay slang terms, you know, really bad terms um, about gay people. And um, did I feel bad about it? I mean, yeah, because I knew, like, the whole time, like, I was going through, you know, a phase. Because, you know, who doesn't think that they're going through a phase when, you know, they're secretly gay and hasn't came out of the closet yet? Um, so... I was always thinking that I was bisexual, but I guess I couldn't figure out I was gay until literally six years later, actually almost seven. Um, so in sixth grade, I was really hateful towards this person, but in the next year, which is seventh grade, me and him actually became really good friends. And I think, I don't remember how me and him really started to connect with each other. We didn't date, please don't, you know, don't think that because he's not, he's not my type and we're like really good friends now. Um, but I just, I really don't know how we got on good terms with each other. I remember how it was just so terrible of what I did to him. And I'm so sorry if he ever sees this. Um, but it was just, it was a really big roller coaster for me. Um, so basically what happened in seventh grade is me and him always started to hang out with each other a little bit more. Um, and it was really fun. So one day he's always... He stayed the night at my house like a whole bunch of times, okay? And he would always try and come out for me and I'm like, don't, don't do it. Please do not do it because my parents didn't know at the time. But anyways, he tried exposing me in front of my parents and it didn't really work out too well because I blamed it on him because my parents knew that he was gay and they knew that I was straight. So basically what happened was me and him were coming home from school. We were hanging out with one of his friends. I, I can't say her name and I don't want to... I don't want to say it to like, you know, bring on more drama, but we hung out with her and then a couple, you know, like an hour or two later, it was like nighttime and we're about, we're walking back to my house and this is where sh shit goes down. So we're at the train tracks and we're literally a block away from my house and the train is literally going by and it feels like it's going so slow. Then he pops the question and says, you should come out to your parents tonight. Um... I said no. I said no. Now, he, me and him, were, we're not really talking anymore, but he really hurt me when he did this. Um, and I didn't really, I didn't get to come out to my parents. Um, and it really hurts me that I never got to because he wanted to do it for me. Um, so, I'm just so ashamed about... <sighs> Anyways. Um, but he told me, you want me to tell your parents? And I told him no at first. I literally, I told him no so many times. And I was like, no, don't do it. I can, I can wait a little longer. And he just kept saying no and no and no. 
And then he told my mom to come outside. We were getting ready to, you know, head over to my house because the train's done. So it seems like the train goes slower when you're... The train goes slower, okay, when you're going to do something. But then when you don't want to do something, the train goes faster. That's how it felt for me. Um, we get back to my house, and he literally goes inside the house before me, and he tells my mom to go outside. And so he he came out for me. My friend came out for me. Um, and I was hiding behind a garage crying. I was crying. Um, and he was telling my mom and they were behind the house. And I walk out and I said, she probably already knew. My mom already probably knew. And then I asked my mom, did you already know? And she said, no. So if I were not to have let him come out for me, I feel like I would have been in the closet for a couple of years. Now, that's why the story for me is a little mix. It's it's a little it's a little shitty, but then at the same time, I know that I wouldn't have came out sooner and I really don't know what I, I don't know what to say about him. But um I I just I don't know. I mean, I really wish that I were to come out to my parents, but I never did. And I remember telling my mom, "Don't tell dad because I mean, I've seen videos on YouTube of, you know, teenagers telling their dads that they're gay or you know bisexual and they were not happy and I didn't think that my dad would you know approve of it so I told my mom not to tell him but what did she do she told him um I mean you know I don't I don't blame her for that because if she weren't to have tell like if she wouldn't told him then it was just it would just it would bug me the rest of my life because I mean one parent knows and the other is just you know secretly not knowing and it it, I don't I don't know the night that I don't know what else, I don't know what happened I don't remember when I told my brothers I don't remember when I told anybody because I do have short-term memory loss that's another video for a different time there I seriously do have short-term memory loss now it's not a finding Nemo joke I really do um but that's my coming out story um there's a little bit more to it so I'm gonna try and explain a little bit more um we get back to school the next day and everybody yeah. We get back to school the next day and he supposedly went around school telling everybody that I came out as gay. And um, we get to our first class of the day and everybody's bugging me in the class. They're like, oh my God, oh my God, you're gay? Oh my God, are you and him dating? Oh my God, what, what the fuck? And I'm like, no, that is no. And I'm like, oh my God, he really told everybody around the school and Everybody knew. Everybody knew that I was gay. Um, but then, you know, a couple weeks later, I start to think to myself, am I actually gay? Because I didn't know if I was gay or bisexual because I liked females, but then I liked guys. And I, I don't know. I just, I found out that I was gay um, a couple, I mean, like maybe three or two years ago. Um, I was starting to date this girl and um, she wanted to kiss me. She wanted to kiss me on my lips. Not my cheeks, you guys. This is not a friend. This is an actual girlfriend. I asked her out. Um, it was a really cute love story, but then I just, I ruined it. And I feel so bad about it. Um, but she was always asking me, when are we gonna have our first kiss? And I would just always bring up an excuse like, oh, I'm not ready. And that's where I found out that I was actually gay. Um, and I had a breakup with her and a lot of stuff happened. Um, not anger, but, um, sadness. Uh, the person, I'm not going to say their name, but they tried to do something and I didn't know what else to do. I felt forced to date somebody like that. And it's, it's sad that I had to break, you know, break up with her, but you know, I didn't want that. I didn't want a girlfriend. I want, I want people. <laughs> no, but um, being serious though, like I, I wanted, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm so, I'm kidding. This is just a joke, but I, I mean, I am gay. So I mean, I do. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> but um, no, it's just, I've always wanted to bring out my story onto the channel and I just, I never really went into high detail about it until now. Um, but Nikki Tutorials, she gave me inspiration to make this video. Um, 
And I never really thought I would actually ever make this until she made hers and I just felt so inspired. Um, but that's my coming out story. Uh, I don't really know what else to say because there, if you guys want to see more videos of me explaining some stuff that happened in my life and there's a lot of shitty stuff that happened to me last year. There was one time where one of my, you know, closest friends stole over a hundred dollars from me. That's a video that you guys should want to see. Um, there's just, there's so many things that's happened in my, you know, my life and it's just, it's so, my life is so fucked up when it, when you, when I come to think about it because it's just, oh my, so much stuff has happened to me and I really want to bring it out on YouTube, but I don't know if you guys would want to see that. Um, I'm thinking about bringing story times back because I used to do those like three years ago and I would not mind bringing them back because I have a lot of stories I could tell and putting this video up, you guys will probably want to see the video about my friend stealing a hundred dollars from me. And, um, the day before she did, um, actually three days before she did, um, I took her out for lunch. What a bitch. Um, but if you guys want to see more story times, just comment down below. Do you guys actually really want to see that video? Cause I will make it and I will say her name because she really, she messed up. Okay. She really did. She, Ooh, okay. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe and like for more videos. And also make sure to comment down below if you guys would want to see more story times or if you want to see the video I was just talking about. But um, next to the subscribe button, you guys, next to the subscribe button, there is a Taco Bell icon. If you guys click that and then press all, I will mail to you. Yes, I will put this in a package and then ship it to wherever you live. And it's going to... So you guys can basically tell me what burrito you want, what taco, what chalupa. Just let me know, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to go and make some more videos because, like, what else can I do with my life? <laughs> wow. My life is really sad sometimes. Bye. <laughs> I hate my life.